praise and worship with us. Oh, come and lift your heart and worship with us. Children, surrender. 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 I won't hide behind religion today. I won't hide behind excuses. I offer myself to you. I offer myself to you. I offer myself to you. you. Come on, children, lift your hearts, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't come out of form. I don't come out of some fashion. I don't come out of pretense. I don't come pretending that I got it all together. But I come, Lord, wounded, weary, worn, tired, oh God. I ask you to receive me today. I need your help. Come on, children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't come to encourage you, Lord. I came to get encouragement from the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit.
not ashamed of you in public. Come on, hallelujah. I need you. I need you. Who needs the Lord today? Come on, reach out. Reach out. Reach out to him. Reach out. He's passing by. He's passing by.
bless his name. You ought to give glory to the great and and mighty king. The great and mighty king. The sovereign God. The mighty God. The one that never lost a battle. The one that never fails. The one that is faithful. The one that is true. The one and only. The one that there is none other beside him. Else shall die. The peace of peace. The king of kings. Lord of Lords, there is no beside him, great and mighty. Crazy. Crazy. You ought to come on and bless his name. Crazy. You ought to bless his name. Everything that you need is in that name. Crazy. Everything that you need is Crazy. in that name. Hallelujah. Praise him. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, bless his Hallelujah. name. Bless Hallelujah. his name. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Shout glory. Hallelujah. Shout glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. How many know that the Lord is our champion? Amen. Amen. Praise God. God bless you today. We want to give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to our Heavenly Father. Amen. The great King of glory. Amen. Our God. Amen. To all of our celebrated guests and friends and family. Amen. It's good to see the Duffies. Amen. Praise God. And their grown children today. Amen. It's good to see you. Amen. Who are here today. I thought I saw Essence earlier, but God bless you. Amen. Hi, Essence. Praise God. It's good to see all of you in the household of faith today. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and just say, good morning. morning. Amen. Praise God. It's important that we 
First, acknowledge our Lord. Say good morning, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Good morning, sister. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1. Amen. Luke, chapter 18, verse number 1. Luke 18, verse number 1. Praise him. Amen. Thank God for everyone. Amen. On last week, amen, Pastor Wisdom, he was so blessed, and he raved on and on as to his reception, how well you treated him, amen, and just the, the love that he and his family felt, praise God, amen. So we were just happy to hear of that. He was, he was just overjoyed at your hospitality and your care toward him. In the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1, it says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought to always to pray and, to, and not to faint. I'll read it again. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought to always to pray yes. and not to faint. Men ought to always to pray and not to faint. Yes. The great late, Miles Monroe made this statement, and he said, Miles Monroe made this statement. Prayer is an earthly license for heavenly interference. Prayer yes. is an earthly license for heavenly interference. Prayer gives heaven the license to interfere. So often we wonder why someone asks the agnostic, if God is God, didn't he see? Why does God permit? I'm going to show you in a minute. But you can be a believer and get very discouraged because God doesn't act. But prayer is an earthly license for heavenly influence. We believers like to say that God in his love made us free moral agents. And we like to use that when we're about to sin. You know, we play little mind games. He let us do what we want to do. Well, that works both ways. He doesn't interrupt us to come in and help us when he could either. Yeah. He lets us sin when we want to. But he, he can see us struggling and don't help us either. It worked both ways. So prayer is an earthly license for heavenly interference. So I want to talk to us why we need to pray and why you should pray. And your lack of prayer is simply opening the door for the enemy to have his way. And God can watch the devil spiritually rape you, assault you, molest you, destroy you, and he will not act. He will sit right up on his throne and watch the devil take a machete.
to your life. Take an AK-47 and destroy your whole house, your ministry, your family, your marriage, your health, your children. And in all his power, he won't lift a finger. And you can take your little happy self to church, sing in the choir, pay your tithes, uh, say I'm a good person, but if you don't pray, his hands are tied. So prayer is an earthly license for God's interference. The police ain't coming on Friday night just to check on you. <laughs> The Oklahoma City Police Department ain't going to come on knock on your door because it might be a problem. They got to have a call. <laughs> Can you say praise the Lord? The great E.M. Bonds declare, prayer man cannot, and without prayer, God Will not. Without prayer, man cannot. And without prayer, God will not. Once again, God is sovereign, but he's given every human being the choice either to invite him or keep him out. It's kind of like the television program when kids of another culture go in their room and shut the door and tell their parents, don't come in my room. Some of us of the culture I come from don't get it. Because our parents would have taken the hinges off the door. But the God in heaven acts more like those kind of parents. He said, you don't want me to come in? I'm not coming in. You don't want me in your life? I won't force myself. You don't want me in your marriage? I won't force myself. You don't want me in your singleness? I won't force myself. You don't want me in your finances? I won't force myself. You don't want me in your health? I won't force you myself. I'll let you be sick and die of what the doctor say you got. Even though my word says, by, your, by my son's stripes, you will heal. I'll let you die of it. And you can keep going to the church. You can even hear the preacher preach that you healed of it. But until you receive it, I'll let them will you right. I'll let you die early. If you don't want to believe and receive. Because that's the contract I got to have with you. So without prayer, you can do nothing. And without prayer, I will not do anything. That ought to be enough for me to close the book. You ought to want to go home and pray. You ought to pray about what flavor toothpaste to buy. You ought to pray about what car to buy. You ought to pray about friends. You ought not to be so quick to, to, to grab on to the pretty person. You ought to pray about the color, uh, you know, of the clothes they got. I don't know, being ridiculous. You ought to pray about everything. The Bible say pray without ceasing. You ought not to be so quick to trust your own intellect to nothing. No, but man, you ought to pray.